saxophone review video and as you can hear I'm not a professional by any means I just do this as a hobby so please don't judge too hardly on the playing and if I miss anything if you have any questions leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them uh, so with that being said this is a laid alto saxophone made in China I bought this off eBay I'm sorry I bought it off Amazon but it's for sale on eBay as well um, I paid about 250 bucks for it um, the only reason why I bought it is my primary alto saxophone is a con 6m naked lady and I'm getting it overhauled, so it's going to be out for a little while, and I want to be able to keep practicing. And I'm not really too worried about having a great alto saxophone to practice with because I primarily play the tenor sax. So this looked like a really good alternative. Problem is, is when I looked on YouTube for videos, I really didn't find a whole lot of videos for this particular model. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a review video on it. So um, Amazon got that thing primed, got it here in two days. Uh, Came in a case, had a cloth bag over it, uh, the saxophone that is, and uh, when I took the cloth bag out, every key was in the closed position. Had little cork securing it. That's really important for it being shipped because when it gets bounced around, the keys can easily become bent, which is, means you're gonna have leaks. So your brand new saxophone you just bought, you're gonna have to take it to a music repair shop. Um, it immediately played right out of the case. It does come with a mouthpiece. I'd say it's like a student mouthpiece. I wasn't really too impressed with it. Um, I just kind of chucked it aside. I threw my Claude Lakey mouthpiece on it and have been enjoying it ever since. The cork is bone dry when you get it. So throw a lot of cork grease on there or else you're gonna rip that cork right off when you talk about your mouthpiece on. Um, that's the only negative thing I really have about this horn. It's heavier than I thought it would be. It's really, really well constructed. It feels good. The ergonomics are like really impressive. A um, little stiff at first, but the more you play it, the more you break the horn in, the better it feels. Definitely has the key work of a contemporary saxophone. Does come equipped with a high F sharp key. That works. The intonation is really, really good. I've sat down with a tuner. I've jumped octaves. Um, and it's been dead center in tune. So I can't really complain. Even low B flat pops right out of it without too much effort. So... Um, in the picture, it looked more of a matte finish. Um, when I got it, it looks like the same except with clear coat on it, so it's shiny. But it still has that vintage look, um, which is pretty cool. It does have a little bit of engraving. Nothing extra extravagant. Sometimes I talk too fast and my words get jumbled up. Um, on the bell, it says laid, and it says designed by USA, but we all know it's made in China. A lot of people knock these horns that are made in China because they're so cheap. Um, it's not a Salmon Mark VI, it's not a Yamaha, it's not a Yangasawana, whatever. Like, it's a saxophone and it plays. I'm sorry, I'm very like, everyone says a Salmon Mark VI is the best saxophone in the world. I could care less. I just want a saxophone that plays. Um, I've played Mark VI's. I don't think they're anything that mind-blowingly impressive. But I know I'm gonna get a lot of haters in the comments about that. Um, but anyways. Going back to this horn, um, it's one of these type of things, you can't knock it till you try it. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a professional horn, but it, it's a good intermediate horn for the price. Uh, if you're new to saxophone or you wanna upgrade from your Yamaha student out though, 
I think this is a really good alternative. If you want a backup horn, I think this is a really good choice. It does what it says it's going to do. It plays. Um, and it seems like it's going to hold up for a little while. All the pads are secured really well. Um, the construction, it's very durable. I feel like I could probably bang this around a little bit and it's going to hold up well. Um, which would make it really good for a new elementary school sax player for sure. Because we all know how gentle they are with their instruments. But... Overall, I, I'm genuinely impressed. Uh, here's the pearls. They look pretty, but they actually feel good. Um, fit in your fingers very well. Kind of show around here real quick. It does come with various things. Um, the one thing it didn't come with that kind of surprised me was cork grease. <laughs> so I would maybe, if you don't have a stick of that laying around, get yourself some cork grease before... Uh, buying this saxophone, unless maybe they just forgot to put cork grease in mind. But overall, it's a good saxophone for the price. For 250 bucks, you really, really can't complain. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really thoroughly impressed. I was skeptical for the price, but uh, uh, the Chinese horns have come a long way. And uh, I really, really think that this could be a good horn for someone. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it helps you out.